All right. Thank you all for tuning in to today's open house. Uh, for those of you who do not know, my name is uh, Numer and uh, I am on the marketing team here at the National Incubation Center. We also have a whole bunch of uh, team members from the NIC on this webinar right now. We're all here for one reason, one reason alone. It is to motivate you and inform you uh, to get going with your startup business. Um, as uh, some of you might know, this past year, Pakistan raised close to $300 million uh, in investment. So the startup ecosystem received funding from Pakistan, the United States, um, and a lot of other parts of the world. Um, and this is, this is a fantastic sign. What it means is that things are speeding up now and we are primed and positioned uh, to become a startup nation. Now we've seen a lot of uh, countries go through this before. Uh, if you look back a couple of years, you'll see a similar situation arising in Indonesia, for example. And we're seeing, we're seeing it happening here now. So if you are not working on a startup idea, then uh, you know there's a likelihood that you'll miss out on this wave. Which is, which is why we're here, which is why the National Incubation Center was created um, in 2017. Well, it was created in 2016, but first cohort induction happened in 2017. And it's been five years. It's been five years. So as you can imagine, we have learned uh, quite a bit about what it takes to get a specifically a Pakistani startup uh, up and going, because there's a range of hurdles that uh, founders would experience in, in our country that, that, that we know best. And our goal here uh, at the NIC is uh, collectively the community team, they're, they're, they're working, they're doing their best to get you the top mentors from all across Pakistan and the world. Uh, and, and all our other different departments are, are also putting their best skills forward and, and giving you whatever you need um, to get your business set up. But in addition to that, there's, there's a range of opportunities that, that we'll be looking at, you know, you, and, and we've seen this happen. We've seen startups come in and at that point, they um, don't believe in themselves. They don't believe that, that they can take this somewhere else and, and it'll become a real, you know, I mean, think of your startup as a child, right? You need to nurture it, you know, think of it as a tree, you need to water it and it'll get there. So that's where we come in to, to help you get past that fear, to get, help you get past those doubts, to fill the gaps. And, you know, I'm gonna say, I have seen this happen before my very eyes, startups, Coming in, and by the end of the 12-month cohort startup, uh, um, cohort incubation, 12-month incubation cycle, there's something else. They are something else. They have more confidence. They've they've been given more opportunities, and and you can see the change. So, so that's why we're here today. And uh, I'm going to walk you through some of some of the things you should know about the NIC before you join. Starting with the fact that the NIC is a, a successful example of a public-private partnership. And, you know, I, I'm sure a lot of you can imagine why that would be really valuable. Um, we bring in, so because it's the government and uh, private working together, right? So we come under the um, Ministry of IT and Telecom. There's a fund called Ignite. Uh, which is its sole purpose is to grow entrepreneurship in Pakistan. So back in uh, 2016, Jazz and Team Up came together. They bid for this project, and uh, you know we got the bid mostly because uh, Zohair and Pervez Zohair Khalik and Pervez Abbasi, the co-founders of Team Up, they were also in a way um, very very pivotal members of Mobilink, 
back when MobileLink was created, back when MobileLink was just a startup. And look at MobileLink now, right? It's jazz and, um, you know, they're, they're leading the telecom uh, industry in Pakistan in a lot of ways. You know, they have been pivotal in creating this landscape that we see today in terms of telecom and all the facilities that you get from telecom here, which are different, by the way, in different countries. So, so we've got quite a good setup going on. So Zohir and Pervez from Team Up, the, the fantastic team from Jazz. We have Amir Ibrahim, Amir, Amir Jaz, Mia Tala. They got the bid and uh, we're here today. Our mission um, when we came when we came up with the NIC was dream, build, rise. It doesn't get simpler than that. Let me tell you what that means. Lama Iqbal dreamt up Pakistan, right? Qaeda Azam built Pakistan and, and, and now, it's, it's our responsibility to take Pakistan where it deserves to be, right? And there is a lot of data and statistics that has proven that um, the startup ecosystem can be a huge pivotal factor in transforming Pakistan as a nation. You know, you want Pakistan to become a first world country. This is the way to go about it. Um, startups bring innovation, they create more job opportunities. And um, there's overall more happening in your country. Uh, and, and it's the, the ease of access, foreign investment, a lot of fantastic things happen when you have more companies operating within your country. And you can do it. Don't for a minute think that you cannot do it. Uh, doesn't matter how old you are, honestly. It doesn't matter what your age is. If you have an idea. If you believe that that idea has potential, apply, apply and let the judges decide, right? We have expert judges who are looking at what's doing well, what's not doing well, what does Pakistan need? And if your idea fits in that bracket, we will incubate you. And then we will take you from idea stage We'll scale you up. We'll help you scale your startup up. It's not necessary that it just be at idea stage. It could be at any stage and, and we'll share more about that further. So anyway, dream, build, rise. Um, if, you're, if, you're, if you're dreaming, you know what they say, if you're dreaming, dream big. What's the point in having a small dream? I have a big dream, right? So dream big, think of the highest place you can imagine taking your startup to and then join forces with us and we'll make it happen. Okay, let's move on. Our mission. So our mission isn't just to um, uh, grow the economy, but it's also to have a social impact for Pakistan because you know your nation is your people. And uh, we're always looking out for ideas that can help people be more connected, that can help people uh, become global citizens of the world, learn more about, about what's happening um, everywhere, bring that thinking to Pakistan. We want to empower um, communities, all kinds of communities, minorities. Um, we, wanna, we wanna, everyone should and can start a company and have an economic and a social impact. Right, so don't be afraid, um, apply to the National Incubation Center. Let me tell you a little bit about what we've done up till now, right? It's been, it's been a magnificent five years. Couldn't even have imagined that we would have incubated 230 startups by this point. And these startups have gone on to have a fantastic impact on, on a global level, right? Our startups have taken part in competitions across the globe. And we have some examples with us today. You'll get to meet uh, some of our uh, alumni community members who have come up with ideas that, you know, um, are having uh, an impact on a global level and people are appreciating the work that they're doing. And, you know, they, they say that before people thought of Pakistan and they thought, okay, but now when you mention Pakistan, you see people's eyes open a little bigger, right? Because there's something happening here and it's time to, for, for you to catch on and uh, get going with your startup. 
So, so that's 526 founders we've worked with, right? So we've seen the ins and outs of the problems they have and where we can come in uh, to, to bridge the gaps. And you know, one thing we always say is you got to put in the work. So you really, you know, a founder, what I love about founders is their passion and their enthusiasm and how much they believe in their idea and the, they believe that the world just needs their startup. And I think that is a crucial component to finding success. So, so if you really believe in, in your idea, you know what to do. Um, women entrepreneurs, especially if you're out there, if you're, on, if you're on this call right now, don't miss this opportunity, right? You, women make up 50% of the population of Pakistan and, and their, um, their involvement is crucial and will have a significant impact in improving the standing of our nation on the international platform. So anyway, these founders have created employment, uh, which is the, which is something you don't really think about right away. But when you look at the numbers, you're like, this is, and this is a number that is hard to quantify. So we're talking 15,000 jobs. Yeah, but what about the vendors they worked with? What about all the other institutes that, that received more clientele because of them on their portfolio? So, so this ripple effect goes beyond measure in my opinion, but, but what we can quantify is 15,000 jobs. Um, and don't you worry, bootstrapping is definitely the way to go um, because when you're bootstrapping, you're doing things that you wouldn't do otherwise. You know, when you put a person in an uncomfortable situation, then you do these things that you don't do in a comfortable situation. So in the beginning, we call startups that you need to bootstrap. What does bootstrap mean? It means that you start your own dump. Then you get to a certain point where we will help you. We will make a pitch deck. A pitch deck is zaruri component hai usme aap kuch chand 10 slide mein sab kuch define kar dete hain ki ji aap hamara startup kya hai hamare trajectory kya hai 3 saal ka forecast kya hai usme badi cheeze hoti hain aur depending on who you are talking to who you are addressing with that pitch deck wo slides us tarah aapko thodi taiyar karni padti hain aapka elevator pitch hota hai 2 minute ka aapne soch ke bas yaad kiya hota hai ki koi mujhse puchhega to main aise unko samjhaunga ki mera business hai kya karta kya hai so our startups have been committed investment right of 2.5 almost billion rupees which means that we have connected them in, with investors who have mentored them and who have gone on to invest in them or are have set certain uh, criteria for them to follow after which they will be invested in. So the journey has begun for them, right? And um, the investor summits and the investor roundtables we do, they um, give you an opportunity to meet these investors. How else would you meet these investors? Either you cold email them or you contact them on LinkedIn, effective. But when you connect with them through the National Incubation Center, um, after we have vetted you and your startup and we have told the investor that, yes, this startup can do it, talk to them. Then there's, there's more authority added to who you are as a startup, which can be pivotal, can be pivotal in your journey. Those first couple of years, crucial time, right? A uh, couple more numbers, a lot of hours of curriculum, a lot of hours are me of mentorship. So that's what you can expect. You can expect that once you get involved, you will be uh, learning, constantly learning, and we're gonna need you to have that energy, right? You're gonna need to be, committed and ready to put in what you need to put in to, to create this startup. Like I said, it's like a child or a plant that you really need to cultivate. All right, a uh, quick skim of our journey. Um, you know, we, we received quite a number of applications, um, but please do make sure, and Saran here from our team is going to tell you more about how you should be filling out the application form. An application form that's not fully submitted will not be counted. 
So you need to complete the submission of your application form. And if you have any trouble, there are many ways that you can contact us and take help from us. All right. You owe it to yourself. ضروری نہیں ہے کہ آپ فرسٹ سیکنڈ تھرڈ پرائز دیکھو لیکن یہ لازمی ہے کہ آپ فنش لائن تو کراس کرو رائٹ سو میک شور کراس دا فنش لائن میک شور ٹو فل یور اپلیکیشن کوئک لک ایٹ آر آفرنگس آئی نو یو گائز ہیو بزی ڈیز سو آئی ڈونٹ وانٹ ٹیک اپ ٹو مچ ٹائم اینڈ وی ہیو سم فینٹیسٹک سیگمنٹس کمنگ اپ سو I'm going to share a little bit about our uh, offerings. If you can look at this uh, triangle here, this triangle represents how the NIC pre presents its offerings to you, right? The base of this offering is our creative co-working space, which is an award-winning co-working space. Now, there are very few places like this in Pakistan, guys. So this is a fantastic opportunity. جو آپ کی ضرورت کی چیز ہے ایز اے اسٹارٹ اپ وہ آپ کو یہاں پہ ملے گا آپ کو ایک خوبصورت خاموش جگہ جہاں آپ آرام سے کام کر سکتے ہیں اینڈ نیٹ ورکنگ اپرچونیٹیز ہمارے بہت لیجنڈ کے لوگ وزٹ کرتے ہیں وی آئی پیز وزٹ کرتے ہیں آپ کو چانس ملتا ہے کہ آپ ان کو پرزینٹ کریں آپ ان سے ملیں اور آپ دوسرے اسٹارٹ اپ سے بھی مل سکتے ہیں right so there are other startups all sitting in the same co-working spaces you obviously all covid sops have been taken care of this program is also offered virtually keep that in mind right so if you're applying from elsewhere in pakistan hey you can apply from elsewhere in the world as long as one of your co-founders is a pakistani right ideally you should have a team of about three people to qualify as a startup um so so you have the space you can use it You want to do it virtually, that's available too. The rest is all uh, also available in-house and virtually. So there's the mentorship and coaching. Like I said, top mentors from around the globe. I can throw out some names. Wahad Siraj, uh, co-founder of uh, Neatel. Badr Kushnud, he was pivotal in uh, the early days of Google in Pakistan. Uh, Saad Hamid, uh, he's also uh, very involved in Google now. Um, we have uh, Mr. Salim Ranja from Akuwat. We have a, a phenomenal lineup of mentors and coaches who will give you the top learning, right? The top, you learn from their mistakes, you learn from their successes. Uh, our curriculum, the reason why we say it's custom designed is because you don't have to do all of it. If you can prove that you have learned a certain aspect of the curriculum beforehand, you will not need to do that. Uh, also, the curriculum is constantly changing and evolving, so we keep it up to date with the time. It's not like some old school school book that's showing you a hard drive and a floppy disk. It is a new age curriculum up to the standard, uh, global standards, right? We, we, we've even introduced uh, things like gamification because, because that's also an aspect that, that now you need to know about as a startup. Um, Domain-specific support, say you're in uh, VR, AR, say you're uh, health tech, fintech, right, edtech, uh, we will get you domain-specific support. This means that the industry is the most capable of the people who are in the industry. We will connect with them with them. We will connect weekly, bi-weekly. جو بھی سائیکل کمیونٹی ٹیم سیٹ کرے گا آپ کے ویلویشن کے بعد آپ ان سے ملا کریں گے اور وہ آپ کی مدد کریں گے اس سے بہتر کیا چیز آپ کو مل سکتی ہے اس کے علاوہ اوبیسلی کمرشلائزیشن اینڈ انڈسٹری لنکیجز ہم آپ کو ہیلپ کرتے ہیں کہ آپ مارکیٹنگ کریں لوگوں کو آپ کو آپ کا پتہ چلے آپ کو ریڈیو شوز پہ ہم بھیجتے ہیں ہم آپ کو ٹی وی پہ بھیجتے ہیں آپ کی کوئی پریس ریلیز ہوتی ہے ہم اس کو پش آؤٹ کرتے ہیں سو وی ہیلپ یو کمرشلائز یور اسٹارٹ اپ وی ہیلپ یو improve the user experience of your app or your website. We have a complete department dedicated to that, right? Uh, communities are a lot. If you have a shock of something, a shock of books, a shock of AI, a shock of shock of development, we have related communities that you can join and you can pursue your passion with NIC. And as I told you before, investment اور گرانٹس کے اپرچونیٹیز ہمارے ہمارے پاس تو بے تحاشا آتے ہیں 
और फिर हम देखते हैं कि जी स्टार्टअप्स की एबिलिटी है तो हम उनको कहते हैं कि आप अप्लाई करें हम आपकी मदद भी करते हैं कि आप अप्लाई करें और ऑब्वियसली बेस्ड ऑन योर एबिलिटीज वी कनेक्ट यू विद इन्वेस्टर्स यहाँ स्लाइड के दूसरे साइड पे आप देखें uh, बहुत बड़ी फैसिलिटी है ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर फीट 200 हंड्रेड सीट्स हैं यहाँ सेशन हॉल है जहाँ हम सेशन कराते हैं साइलेंट रूम है जहाँ आप मीटिंग कर सकते हैं अपने ठीक है डे केयर सेंटर है खातनों के लिए पेरेंट्स के लिए राइट सो यू कैन ब्रिंग योर चाइल्ड योर चाइल्ड कैन बी एट द डे केयर सेंटर यू कैन बी वर्किंग यू कैन कीप गोइंग एंड चेकिंग अप ऑन योर चाइल्ड बिकॉज इट्स राइट देर ऑन द फेसिलिटी जैज का एक्सपीरियंस हब है ये पाकिस्तान में सिर्फ तीन एक्सपीरियंस हब है और यहाँ पे आप यूजिलिटी टेस्टिंग कर सकते हैं हीट मैप वगैरह के साथ कि आप के डिवाइस को कोई यूज कर रहे हैं तो वो कहा देख रहे हैं क्या हो रहा है बहुत आपको सीखने को मिलेगा सो टू अप्लाई जैज एंड वी हैव सलमान इकबाल हियर फ्रॉम जैज हु शेयरिंग मोर लेटर ऑन आई जस्ट वॉन्ट गिव यू क्विक ओवर व्यू क्योंकि जैज हमारा पार्टनर है उनके वजह से आपको बहुत बेनिफिट मिलेगा जैस कैश की इंटीग्रेशन आपको एनालिटिक्स एपीआई की इंटीग्रेशन पेड एडवर्टिजमेंट्स बल्क एसएमएस ये सारा कुछ आपको मिलेगा और ऑफ कोर्स स्टार्टअप क्रेडिट्स भी हम देते हैं आपको एमेजॉन वेब सर्वर पे आपने कुछ होस्ट करना है अपने साइट को ऐप को हम आपको एक क्रेडिट्स देते हैं उसके लिए फेसबुक के क्रेडिट्स हब स्पॉट माइक्रोसॉफ्ट ये सारे टूल्स आपको हम इनका एक्सेस देते हैं और इससे भी ज्यादा इससे भी ज्यादा है हमारे पास सो दट इंक्यूबेशन साइकिल लास्ट फॉर ट्वेल्व मंथ्स राइट ये आइडिएशन या आप एम वी पी पे ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं या ग्रोथ पे ज्वाइन कर रहे हैं वील टेक यू थ्रू द रेस्ट ऑफ द जर्नी राइट सो दैन आई सी इज वे यू ड्रीम बिल्ड एंड राइज वी ऑल्सो हैव आर इंडक्शन प्रोसेस हियर ईशा no issue i can uh, share more about the induction process but Sorry, uh, just struggling a little bit and muting myself yeah, no you you guys can touch more on this later on jab hum qa section pe jab aayenge ye main bas thoda sa yahan pe dikha raha hu ki ji cohort uh, induction hamari announce hai 18th tak open hai आप अप्लाई करेंगे फिर हम आपको इंटरव्यूज के लिए बुलाएंगे ठीक है इंटरव्यूज पे आप आएंगे वहां पे एक्सपर्ट जजेस होंगे आप उनके सामने एक पिच करेंगे ठीक है उसके बाद रिजल्ट्स अनाउंस होंगी आपको बता दिया जाएगा आफ्टर विच और इंक्यूबेशन साइकिल विल स्टार्ट एंड ईशा कैन हेल्प मी हियर वेन वुड दी इंक्यूबेशन साइकिल स्टार्ट दैट वुड बी मिड डिसम्बर डिसम्बर Uh, we start on the first of December, and uh, it'll finish on the thirtieth of November, twenty twenty two. So it's a one year program, um, and then after that, uh, there are some KPIs that we will set and monitor your progress against them uh, for you to qualify for graduation from the program. Um, and should you, you know, we're going to have a quick graduation assessment. Actually, it's one thing already that we've. Uh, So if not included in the slides, since it's a one-year program, uh, mid-cycle review hota hai. That's up to with, uh, when you reach the six-month mark. And the idea is that you know all the funds, all the time, the effort that is spent on a startup um, is all pro bono. We're funded by the government, but it's taxpayer money at the end of the day, and it cannot be used just like that. So if a startup fails to progress or show or you know meet their milestones or you know um, against their the KPIs that are set um, during the program, we can also ask them to 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 leave, right? So it's very very important that the KPIs set um, need to be followed, unless otherwise, of course, you know if it's an unforeseen uh, reason like COVID. Uh, but then it's a very customizable program, adaptable. a uh, very flexible that way also um so yeah that's about it thank you isha thank you thank you for that so aap logon ne ghabrana nahi hai kpis hamare hain aapne bas you need to keep growing keep progress aap ke sath hi banenge aap aap ke sath milke hamari team banayegi so that's you good. will of course be taken on board you actually set kpis we help you follow them yeah, they're my they set for your startup journey we help you achieve so हमारे वजह से आप पे एक प्रेशर रहेगा ना कि आपने फिर विल होल्ड यू अकाउंटेबल राइट दैट्स व्हाई वी हियर टू मेक श्योर दैट यू गेट थिंग्स डन सो 
Zohair Khalik and Pervez Abbasi. I mentioned them earlier. These are our two co-founders. They met for a cup of coffee, imagine, and uh, they thought, how can we give back to Pakistan? And uh, I'm grateful, the rest of the team and the alumni is grateful that they took this decision because they have ended up playing a really pivotal role in uh, uplifting the startup ecosystem of Pakistan. Let me just uh, share sound. And I'm gonna show you a quick message from our founders. Uh, if uh, Saran can uh, tell me if you can hear, you can just give me a thumbs up. They say that when you dream, dream big. Um, if you're one of those startups who's got a dream to make it better in the world, uh, come join us at the National Incubation Center and help us build. Build that dream with you. Uh, applications for cohort 11 are now open. Apply. Yeah, and you'll get to meet him in person uh, when you are incubated at the NIC. Let's also see a message from Pervez Abbasi, some words of motivation. I think we have a number of success right. stories. Um, but first and foremost, the success story of the incubation center itself is that it's not only survived the first two years uh, and grown, mashallah, it's also been replicated in other cities. So, of course, now we have NICs in Lahore, in Karachi, in Koita, in Peshawar. So, I think um, this is one of the facts that it's a success that has been replicated. Okay, one of the best forms of flattery is when people copy you. Being in Islamabad is a fantastic place, of course, apart from the great weather that we enjoy here. Uh, we have access to people from different backgrounds from the government, from academia. Uh, we have some of the best engineering people, as I mentioned earlier. In addition to that, we have the corporates, we have the businesses, we have the Chamber of Commerce. All of those people here are accessible and add value to the overall ecosystem. I think it's important that the NIC the offers not only physical space, uh, free internet, free electricity, and free working space. So there is no cost, this is an important part. There is no requirement for them to part, give up any of their equity. Uh, this is a free program, um, but it's a very valuable program. And that program, over the 12 months that they get here, includes a 16-week customized curriculum, where those sessions are delivered by domain experts, uh, whether they're government, whether they're private, whether they're academics, whether they're entrepreneurs. They are the best in their particular domain, so they get access to that. There is, of course, one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring as well. They need specialized kind of help and access to the investors uh, as well. So I think there's a lot that is of value. So if you are one of those crazy guys out there who thinks you can make a difference, and you believe that you have dreams, you have the passion, you want to build something, you want to deliver that, then the National Incubation Center is here for you. Here, you will be given that opportunity. Now you have no excuse left. Come to the NIC. Okay, so um, at the, on that note, uh, sorry for taking up so much time, guys. Please don't leave, okay? We have some more really interesting stuff to share with you. I'm going to hand it over to Anam now, Anam Iqbal, Program Associate from the NIC, to lead us uh, with this uh, fantastic panel to tell you more. Hi, Anam. I think you might be on mute. Yeah, happens every time on Zoom, even after oh, one year of football virtual. So, <laughs> excuse me. Um, thank you for handing the uh, stage over to me. Um, I will be moderating the panel that comprises of Sishan and Salman. Um, Isan, unfortunately, hasn't been able to join in. He's stuck in some other work. So, we'll um, just start with our uh, partners, Jazz and uh, Sishan, as a program manager. So, <laughs> Hi, Salman and Sushan. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Hi. everyone. So uh, Salman has been working with us for uh, quite some time now, and he's also been involved in the startup ecosystem, not only in Pakistan, but also he has some experience uh, of the Nordic region as well. Uh, so Salman, um, how do you see the role of corporate in uplifting the startup ecosystem of our country? Um, is entrepreneurship really encouraged in our organizations or do you see entrepreneurship as a threat to the corporate? Uh, what are the views about it? 
Thank you, Anam. And a very good question, by the way. Uh, when we talk about the corporate in Pakistan, uh, the, uh, the way of working is shifting and uh, it is shifting uh, not only in, in, in recent years, but uh, it has started, uh, if I'm not wrong, five years ago. Uh, and it also happened within the jazz. And, um, and now we are at a point where we don't have any, uh, any walls in our offices. So it is an open culture and uh, lean working environment in our office. This is one of the example. And when we talk about the entrepreneurship, so there are initiatives which are encouraged by the employees and also within the teams. And uh, uh, and, and we, we are given chances to um, actually uh, get failed also. And, uh, and we learn through that experience. So uh, being said that uh, entrepreneurship is definitely uh, a key part for the corporate sector as well. And uh, we have um, seen that uh, in, in, in jazz and uh, across other big uh, companies as well. Uh, for jazz, uh, it was very important uh, to take not only the initiative internally, but also take it outside uh, the company and to support the ecosystem of um, uh, entrepreneurship ecosystem for Pakistan. Uh, and uh, that is where the NIC initiative comes in. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are not only uh, help in running the NIC, but we are also having jazz accelerate program, which we are uh, targeting to uh, target which is targeted for the accelerator startups and those startups which are already at the scale uh, at the stage of scale up uh, so we support them uh, to get into the market quicker and also provide all the necessary uh, uh, tools and also mentorship and uh, platforms uh, to do it in a, in a fast pace uh, that's actually quite good. Uh, Salman, could you also please elaborate how uh, the NAC startups can benefit from the Jazz Accelerator program? Uh, sure. So um, as uh, the startups are applying for the NAC uh, incubation program, uh, once they are selected, so the, uh, you also will evaluate and we will also evaluate there are some startups which are uh, for, on the gro growth stage. So uh, during that time, uh, so we will encourage and we will also open um, applications for Jazz Accelerate and startups who, um, uh, uh, who understand and feel that they are under uh, the, the uh, scope of acceleration so they can apply for the jazz accelerate program and um, uh, so we will uh, then introduce them to all the benefits of jazz accelerate which nomar have also explained a little bit yeah. uh, thank you Salman, for uh, sharing this information um, if i may uh, continue with zishan uh, zishan is actually our program manager at nac uh, but he has been working with Dai. For many many years now even when you know we as a nation did not even know entrepreneurship or startups uh, per se so zishan how do you think our um, ecosystem has progressed over the years and uh, what do you think we could do more to you know uh, boost this progress thank you Anu. Uh, i think pakistani startup space has had incredible few years uh, you know we've just recently moved uh, to 75th position worldwide and second in South Asia region as per the Global Startup Ecosystem Index uh, report uh, released this year. Uh, we've also improved our ranking innovation index as well. Perhaps the biggest indication of entrepreneurial improvement across the nation is shown by the fact that most Pakistani cities ended up improving their rank this year. And two new cities actually joined in the fray as well. Uh, foreign investors are now showing confidence in creative abilities of the uh, youth, uh, young startups leading the startup culture in Pakistan. The rate at which startups in Pakistan are progressing and uh, the wins they are securing, it's you know giving us new hope for a new dawn of, uh, for innovation in Pakistan. Uh, only in 2021, Pakistan startups have raised by, by now, by, by September actually, by October, 320 million in investments, which is more than uh, previous five years combined. This is a this is a great progress, and this is great news for Pakistani startup ecosystem. And this is a fantastic time to join this bandwagon. This 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 bus is about to leave, right? So this is the time to hop in and and and, and join this. Uh, incubation centers and mentoring programs have have played a very very important role in triggering this new wave of creative economy in the country. 
back in the days, you know, since you mentioned that, you know, I've been associated with this uh, ecosystem for a very long time. That's about uh, 10, 12 years. And back in the days uh, when I first started working in, in, in this ecosystem, uh, nobody knew the word entrepreneurship even. You know, it was, I had to define, I had to go to people and define the word entrepreneurship. There were no incubators. Uh, no accelerators. I, I think Plan Nine was the first government-funded accelerator uh, incubator that uh, that came up uh, during that time. So my pitch used to be when I, you know, whenever I used to go to any university uh, to tell students about about entrepreneurship, I used to sort of scare them and say that you know there are this, this, there are these many gadgets coming out from each university each year, and uh, the number of jo jobs cre being created every year are only this this number so what are the rest of going uh, uh, of you going to do if if you if you don't get the job there's, there's this huge gap right so that's was so my pitch used to be uh, you know was based on skating now i i think I, I i don't need to i don't need to do that anymore because people are taking the youth is taking a lot of interest in that a lot of people working towards betterment of this ecosystem so things have things have really changed uh, any startup competition that we would do, you know, I mean, I, I remember we used to a startup competition, we used to get 300 applications, but then these incubator accelerators, uh, when they popped up, the number rose to, you know, uh, about in, in, in thousands for, for each year. I think the turning point uh, was the uh, coming of, uh, or, uh, for, uh, of NICs in, in this ecosystem back in 2016. Because NICs uh, funded by the federal government have, uh, you know, made phenomenal contribution in the uh, ecosystem. And this is evident by the growth trajectory since 2016. Since 2016, the growth of Pakistan startup ecosystem, growth in investments, growth in number of startups that are coming up have been um, way better than if you go back previous five years. So this, this is very evident by, by these numbers. Uh, Contribution by the government with recent changes in regulations also uh, the main factor. Um, you know, there's there's very positive regulation changes recently by SACP and other uh, government organizations as well. Ministry of Commerce is also coming up with the e-commerce policy now. The lot being done by many government departments for ease uh, ease of business. There is also the interest by development sector uh, into startup ecosystem now. They are giving grants. Uh, the USAID is involved. Oxfam is involved. Uh, UNDP is involved. Let's let's also also like to mention the contribution of Ignite here, uh, since they launched the uh, 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 NICs back then. So they they've also made a huge contribution. Similarly, Jazz and other similar corporates who've who've, who've uh, uh, done the same for startup ecosystem. Uh, another important factor is Pakistan startup founders coming back from abroad. They've been very successful in uh, raising investment. So there are two key, uh, key takeaways from this. First, the social capital matters a lot. And this is for all of aspiring entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs who are here uh, as well. We need to understand the social capital matters a lot. Entrepreneurs need to be part of local and as well as international communities working in this relevant field. Uh, be it education, work, or other professional linkages uh, locally, abroad, they widen the opportunities for potential entrepreneurs. Uh, second, the understanding of culture sensitivities in different parts of the country and different parts of the world uh, also help you to build relations and such an understanding that is easier for someone living or study abroad. But, but however, these skills are now also being provided by incubation, uh, an acceleration program such as NIC, which help entrepreneurs expand their network globally. This is this is this is the next phase now. This is this is this is the focus now. And uh, by 2025, inshallah, we'll see one dollar billion investment uh, per year in Pakistan. Uh, so coming to the second part of your question, uh, Anam, uh, the, we we've come in leaps and bounds uh, till now, but there's a lot. Uh, that is still uh, uh, needed to be uh, done in terms of uh, you know how we want to take this uh, ecosystem forward. Uh, so there are, there are a few things that I would like to mention here. I think first of all, we need to have uh, reforms in education sector. 
you know, we need to create and nurture entrepreneurial mindsets from the primary education. And then from the secondary education, we need to offer entrepreneurship as, as, a, as a course. And similarly, when we, when we go to the uh, higher education uh, level, we need to have, you know, we need to offer enterprise courses and projects as electives or required subjects. We need to promote entrepreneurship both inside and outside of educational modules. Uh, and, you know, there should be incubation and in business. Uh, everyone, every student has, should, have the, should have the access to incubation uh, or, uh, or, you know, similar curriculum within the university as well. Uh, the teaching faculty needs to be trained and certified. So this is something that, that we need to do as part of educational reforms. Uh, the other uh, uh, things that we need to do is that, you know, we need to probably have a look at our, our you know, regulatory framework, uh, which can, which can uh, build a sustainable startup culture, uh, create a support network uh, within public and private sector to offer business solutions to budding entrepreneurs. This is something, this, this should be the focus. The regulatory framework currently, although it has improved, but still it is, it is very over cautionary. There are many laws that need to be decoded to make to make them startup friendly, and you know the cost of the legal cost then gets very higher for startups. This is something that that needs to be looked at. Uh, similarly, uh, tax breaks need to be provided to startups, and there has to be some uniform taxation across the across the across the country. Uh, there's need to have some uh, you know look have a look at the uh, you know expensive licenses, especially for fintech companies. So since the you know licenses are too fintech uh, licenses are too expensive, hence uh, you know to run small pilots uh, and to work their way up, there's a lot of expenses involved. Similarly, IPO laws need to be looked at. We need to have bankruptcy laws as well uh, because the fact that startups are high risk ventures with a high failure rate, uh, rate coupled with the fact that uh, there are no bankruptcy laws in Pakistan acts like a major deterrent for investors. So the government needs to create an exit strategy with strong bankruptcy laws. Uh, thank you, Zeshan. Uh, you painted a really uh, promising picture, starting with the numbers, uh, especially in terms of investment and our improvement in our global ranking, and then going on to you know um, suggesting that entrepreneurship should be taught at a younger level, at a younger age, not just in um, higher education. Um, I would say that um, Ignite has really helped uh, in progressing the startup ecosystem in our country um, in terms of you know our race in, in, uh, in the post industrial revolution area. Um, Umar Akram from Ignite has joined uh, us. Um, hi, Umar. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum salam. Can you hear me? Yes. Uh, so, Umar, um, the NICs are an award winning project of Ignite. I think this is a very really spectacular win. Uh, not just for Ignite, but also for our nation as a whole, uh, because, you know, uh, the global scenario is, especially because of COVID, uh, the number of jobs are less and the number of unemployed, uh, unemployed people is increasing and startups is uh, one of the, you know, um, steps in, uh, uh, in how we can actually uh, reduce the unemployment and uh, uh, make the economy um, better. So, uh, uh, could you please share uh, what makes the NIC different from the other incubators and accelerators that have already been present in the country, uh, even since before uh, 2016, when the first NIC was uh, actually founded? And um, so, so what are your views on it? Thank you very much, Anand, uh, for inviting me. First of all, uh, I would uh, like to introduce uh, Ignite. Uh, Ignite is a public sector company introduced in 2016 by the federal government under Section 42 and associated with Ministry of IT. Uh, in 2016, we have started a uh, national incubation center first in Islamabad uh, with our partner Jazz and TeamUp. Then we have uh, established uh, four more incubation centers in Karachi, Lahore, Quetta, and Peshawar. Uh, uh, coming to your question, as you said, what is the difference in my opinion? In this time, in Pakistan, the incubation center is the best incubation center in terms of building, in terms of infrastructure, in terms of curriculum we have offered, in terms of mentors we have offered, in terms of 
networking uh, with investors and uh, other uh, industry experts. So the NACs across Pakistan have like state-of-the-art facilities and we have the best of the best as mentors on our board. Um, and also we're advised by many senior people who have worked in the entrepreneurship and the corporate sectors around the country and the world. Uh, so uh, Omar, uh, what uh, is Ignite's view of, uh, what Ignite's vision for the NACs for the next say five to 10 years? Um, the NACs are expanding to beyond just the provincial capital. Uh, more are opening up. So how would you say, you know, what do you see, uh, how, where do you see the NACs in five years, next five years? Okay, thank you. Uh, we, um, we plan, uh, recently, we have a second year city. We have a plan for the second year city. We have a plan for the second year city. We have a plan for the second year city. And we have a focus on the agri-tech startups. So, majority of our startups are in the majority of our agri-tech startups. And we have a plan for the NIC in the University of Agriculture. So, in the Agriculture University, we have a focus on the agri-tech because we have a startup in the agriculture. Labs or Busi facilities are available. In this case, we are going to launch the next two weeks in Hyderabad. We are going to make it in Hyderabad, in the University of St. Jam Shoro. And in this case, we are going to launch the next other cities, like Multan, Sialkot, and other big cities in Pakistan. Secondly, recently, we are going to plan that in Islamabad, we are going to make an accelerator. जिसमें वाई कॉम्बिनेटर के मॉडल पे एक्सेलेटर होगा जिसमें हम इनिशियल फंडिंग प्रोवाइड करेंगे स्टार्टअप्स को और इन स्टार्टअप्स को बेस्ट मेंटोर्स बेस्ट करिकुलम वहाँ पे देंगे और उनको ताकि वो एक्सेल कर सकें आगे फ्यूचर में और इसके अलावा मैं जो जो भी हमारे स्टार्टअप फ्यूचर में हमारे पोटेंशियल स्टार्टअप है एन आई को ज्वाइन करना चाहते हैं उनके लिए बड़ी गुड न्यूज में ये देने जा रहा हूँ कि एक नाइट में कुछ फंडिंग के लिए भी उनके लिए कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज ओपन की है For example, those startups are graduating and investors are participating in the summit and the best startups will be given a prize. And for this, Ignite will be applied for funding and Ignite will be applied for grants. And Ignite, I think in six months, we are announcing a co-investment grant. We are bringing the private sector to the private sector. इग्नाइट की तरफ से वो ग्रांट्स होंगी और प्राइवेट सेक्टर उसमें इन्वेस्टमेंट करेगा तो ये कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज हैं जो कि स्टार्टअप को नेयर फ्यूचर में अवेलेबल होंगी एंड दिस आर आई एज्यूम एनएसी स्पेसिफिक और कोई एक्सेलरेटेड इंक्यूबेटर ऑफ द कंट्री ऐसा कुछ ऑफर नहीं कर रहा बिल्कुल बिल्कुल एग्जैक्टली व्हिच इज एक्चुअली ग्रेट व्हिच इज द ट्रू एनएसी एडवांटेज थैंक यू उमर जिशान एंड सलमान फॉर जॉइनिंग अस एंड शेयरिंग वैल्यूएबल इंफॉर्मेशन सो आई विल uh, I'll uh, pass on to Numer for take, uh, and uh, Numer, please take over from here. Thank you, thank you so much, Anam. Thank you so much. Uh, I am actually going to introduce our next panel, which will be moderated by Rishim um, from our HR team, and we have some of our founders and some of our alumni community on here. So Risham, over to you and uh, let's hear from the founders. Thank you so much, Numair. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. This is Risham, Assistant Manager HR here at the NIC. Today, we have some very really amazing panelists with us. Um, we have uh, Maliha Javed, who is currently associated with uh, Chemonix International as a spe uh, sector specialist for women-led uh, businesses. Then uh, we have Adnan Aslam, he's the founder for DG Kappa, it's a bookkeeping uh, app um, and being used by over 1 million businesses in Pakistan. Then we have um, founder MyTM and an IC alumni startup, um, Zain Farooq and uh, Isha Zeb, our community manager. Thank you all the panelists for joining us today. I have a question for Maliha. Maliha, you remain the part of NIC cohort. You are a startup founder. From being a startup founder to a mentor now, because you have been through the journey of a startup and now you are mentoring startups here at the NIC, I wanted to you to please explain to our audience what kind of mentorship is helping our startups to help out. 
और मेंटरशिप की इम्पोर्टेंस क्या है फॉर स्टार्टअप और टू स्केल अप एंड टू एक्चुअली डिलीवर ऑन देयर के पी आई फॉर प्लीज Maliha, you're on mute. Maliha, I think you're still on mute. Yes, Maliha, you're still on mute. Yes, can you hear me? Yes. Ji. Um. So, uh, thank you so much for having me on the panel. Um. Regarding uh, the NIC, I was uh, incubated in in some of the early cohorts. and uh, we were very lucky to be in touch with uh, some great mentors i think jo nic ki sabse uh, fruitful hamare liye hamare startup ke liye baat rahi wo ye thi ke har sector ke mentors they we were in touch so whether we needed marketing support whether we needed financial uh, you know financial analysis and planning support whether we needed marketing support hamare paas har uh, sector ka ek specialist jo tha wo space mein maujood tha अगर वो अगर वो एन आता नहीं होता था तो कोई हमें उनसे कनेक्ट कर देता था तो इस तरह कनेक्शंस जो है वहाँ पे इतने वैल्यूबल हमारे लिए बने एंड स्पेशली क्योंकि हमारा स्टार्टअप इंश्योरेंस रिलेटेड था इट्स अ वेरी नीच सेक्टर बहुत स्पेशलाइज सेक्टर है बट नन द लेस वी वर कनेक्टेड टू पीपल हु हैड वर्क इन इंश्योर टेक इन अदर मार्केट्स and um, that is you know one reason why over this period of time uh, as a startup we made connections in other markets we went to so the easy insurance and ended up going to a, a, for a silicon valley um, trip as well and um, you know so the connections that we made the mentorship that we received has been invaluable for sure uh, i think that uh, over the years i don't consider myself a, a mentor but over the years i can definitely say ke jo advice hame mili uh, usse humne itna sikha ke now we are at a stage where we look at other startups and we can tell them ke ji ye cheez uh, aap is pe time na zaya kare aur is cheez is galti se aap you know this is some some mistakes that you should not make as a startup so uh, i i definitely think that jahan hum is stage pe aaj khade hain as a startup jahan hamari company hai we would not have been able to uh, be there were it not for the support of the nic thank you maliha my next question is from uh, mr adnan thank you for joining us today uh, and congratulations dg khata has recently raised an investment of uh, 2 million dollar um, adnan aapne investment aapke startup ne raise ki you were uh, you are a chartered accountant by profession and by profession and you were associated with some multinational companies uh, they were paying you very good but uh, then you started your startup in 2020 Uh, how did the startup ecosystem in Pakistan help you, and how? What was the role of NIC specifically in helping you get here? जहाँ पर आज आप हैं, जितनी investment आपने raise की है. Thank you, thank you very much, um, Rishim, for inviting me. इसमें मेरे ख्याल है partly Maliha ने तो बड़ा अच्छा respond किया, so 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 uh, almost almost the same comments. Um, it really helped us uh, to 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 network. and you know a person is not uh, a person is not actually is the master of all the trades so so you 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 have to have support from different angles uh, from different persons and nic has been contribute and, and been a great contributor uh, for us to achieve that uh, we really 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 thankful to them we, we we have been incubated there and the value that they have uh, Uh, uh added to our startup uh, is 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 actually invaluable okay so uh, my next question is uh, for both of you arman and zain because uh, zain ka bhi background jo hai is an mbbs doctor by profession and uh, he then started his own startup jo ke financial technology pe based kar, based karta hai so um, when you started your own startup and uh, or i must say ki jab aapne idea conceive kiya there are very very different uh, you, you can say there is a stigma jo ke attached hai startups ke sath ke startups fail ho jane ki wajah se because uh, log sirf apna time aur equity put nahi kar rahe hote balki apne apni money bhi is pe laga rahe hote so how did you cope up with that and kya aap advice karenge hamare paas audience mein jitne bhi log hain un par they want to start their own startup तो वो किस तरह से इन चीजों को कोप अप कर सकते हैं बिकॉज हम अपने बातें बहुत ज्यादा सुन रहे होते हैं 
सो कैसे वो एक ब्लॉक कर सकते हैं इस तरह की लोगों की बातों को किस तरह से एक सक्सेसफुल वेंचर जो है उसको इस्टेब्लिश कर सकते हैं आप अगर अपनी अपनी जर्नी मुझसे शेयर कर दें जैन यू वुड लाइक टू गो फर्स्ट और थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच रशम हाय अदनान हाय एवरीवन ओके सो सो आई आई स्टार्ट लाइक दिस आई एम बेसिकली फ्रॉम कोहॉट 7 एंड आई एम एन ओंकोलॉजिस्ट बाय प्रोफेशन आई वाज वर्किंग विद द डब्ल्यूएचओ फॉर ओवर 8 इयर्स एंड आई वाज इन चाइना मैं पाकिस्तान में नहीं था सिंस 2006 सो व्हेन आई केम बैक टू पाकिस्तान एंड आई वांटेड टू रीस्किल माय सेल्फ एज एन एंटरप्रेन्योर सो दिस बेस्ट स्कूल दैट आई कुड हैव गॉन टू वाज नेशनल इनक्यूबेशन सेंटर and apart from that i i was also part of other incubators uh, i have taken multiple accelerator programs uh, this is very very true that jo social investment hai jiski baat ki i think it took me 3 years to to get that investment entrepreneurship on the other hand is not for everyone mam uh, maybe i'll be a bit straight over here because entrepreneurship mein social investment aapka logon pe etbar the friends and family the bootstrap the trust level that you should have to become an entrepreneur is very very important you have to be an honest person you have to be the ceo of your company the cto the cfo the product manager everything you have to be everything you have to be good at everything and me coming from a medical background and then starting a financial start financial tech was something very very challenging to me uh, thanks to the habit of reading books i was able to cope up because uh, mai abhi bhi I, this morning i was i was in on express news and i was i have been since we won the jitex uh, 2021 in uh, dubai we have been contacted by multiple people and they asked me the same question that you know you you coming from a medical background and now you you are stepping into financial so kya ye khula tazad nahi and, and this this is a very common question but you know it's like controversial you can only go if you don't have enough knowledge and i think uh, platforms like nic they help you uh, train for that knowledge the, the thing is again you have to move ultimately idea has no value implementation has value and one thing that i learned at nic was that you cannot fall in love with your idea you have to pivot i pivoted six times uh, in the last 3 years uh, and i joined nic and i was making sure that you know we pivot at the right place and uh, we have been rejected over 600 times by investors um, we have been going for the technology funds as well but again every rejection is actually an accept is actually one step closer to an acceptance so when we got this chance from ignite uh, by the help of nic to be selected for jitex and when we performed over there we actually proved that uh, nic has the power to create startups like us uh who can actually break records so we break a record of 6 years no pakistani company had reached the finals and won it and we became the first company to do that and after that the doors have opened for investors from investors as well because when it comes to serious talks it is in person meetings you have to be in person the value of a person meeting a person is very very important uh, and then the knowledge a uh, platform that nic provides you this is also something that is not uh, very accessible anywhere else perfect over to you adnan thank you ajit absolutely true whatever zain mentioned was just a couple of things from my side i think uh, uh, to 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 realize your idea and convert it into a business require some skills And, and and if if a graduate out out of um, out of the college feels that he can he can pull it off he 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 really needs to he really needs to work very very hard he don't know anything about governing um a 100 million or 500 or a billion dollar company so uh so there will be failures for sure but but to um uh, to um uh, to 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 indemnify those uh, up front is, is 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 better planning as well so for instance um if investors for definitely will look into the person who can govern that company in a more better way um uh, if he has some experience to that a person who only know, know knows how to code does not necessarily means um that he can also govern the company um, with, with with 200 people uh, in, in the staff and he can manage all that in the direction that he wants all of all of them to go to so in my personal opinion that uh, for instance the newcomers um first of all they have they have to they have to be very patient every single day there is failures uh, besides the larger uh, disappointments that zain mentioned or that, that you approach investors and and they say no doesn't matter i think you need to just 
learn it off and and and, and move and keep your direction um, uh, the way that you feel. Um, you know, take it. थैंक यू सो मच जैन एंड अदनान आपने बड़े अच्छे तरीके से अपना जो स्टार्टअप जर्नी है यहाँ पर एन आई सी के साथ भी जिस तरह से आपको जो भी फेस करने पड़े वो एक्सप्लेन किए हैं आई एम श्योर कि जो हमारी ऑडियंस होगी उसने इससे काफ़ी बेनिफिट किया होगा रिसेंटली जैन का जो स्टार्टअप है माई टी एम दे वोन इन जाइटेक्स ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन and uh, definitely uh, there are so many advantages other than these advantages jo aapko connection nic mein milta hai jo jis tarah se aapne bataya investment raise karne mein ya phir global exposure mein there are so many other um, advantages as well jo main ne bhi pehle explain kiya so uh, we are actually running short on time so i'll have to conclude the panel here i would like to thank all the panelists maliha zain adnan and isha and uh, we will uh, answer all the questions in the question and answer sessions over to you mai thank you thank you so much risham and zain and adnan i think that was really insightful for the founders who tuned in with us right now um so let's move on to some of the technicalities of how you can actually go about applying to the national incubation center and for that we have uh, saran ahmed our community manager also um a fantastic uh, entrepreneur himself so he will be sharing a step by step walk through of the registration form saran over to you Uh, Sarah, Great to help. Perfect. Uh, uh, Numair, uh, is it possible for you to hand me over uh, the controls of the screen? Absolutely. I would like to share my screen so we can uh, start with the process. Yeah. I would also like to see you. So let me just right. quickly try sharing now, Sarah. Yeah, yeah, should be. All right, perfect. Um, I hope everybody can see my screen now. Yep. So, Mayor, give me a thumbs up if you can. Yes. wonderful okay so uh, i hope uh, the session got uh, everybody excited to apply for uh, the nic cohort 11 uh, what we're going to do right now is i'm just going to quickly have uh, a rundown of how you can apply what are some of the questions uh, that are in the form uh, that you're going to fill out and uh, how you can uh, basically go through the entire process so uh, first of all uh, the simplest way is that you log into nic pakistan.pk that's our website and on the top right corner you'll see uh, this uh, button here that says apply now so once you click on that you should be routed to the page uh, that says get incubated you scroll down and uh, the big orange button here is uh, the application button where you click and you will be routed to the form right so uh, the blue button here says apply by uh, november 20th that's the deadline that you need to apply uh, before uh, what happens is that you uh, this is a form that you can fill in steps you can save your progress uh, but the final form needs to be submitted by the 20th of november so there might be some questions that you have uh, that you might not have the answers to or there might be some questions that you want to think more about uh more you you might need to have more details on that so you can save the progress and we'll get into that later first you click on this form uh this button and the first page that you see here is going to be very basic information you type in your name so we're going to type say a b c last name uh can i see uh the second part of the form uh as your startup have one or more of the following relationships usually the startups that come to us and the startups uh that we have are co-founders so we'll click on that you have other options as well that you can click and you click next 
Okay, so the form automatically fills up uh, the name of your startup according to what you, uh, the name that you have uh, basically, uh, the, the, uh, the options that you or the answers that you have put in in the first page. But if your name is different, you can change that. So ABC Startup will go with that. Is your startup incubated? So uh, if you're already a part of uh, an incubation center, uh, or if you've already, uh, sorry, is incorporated. So if your startup is incorporated, uh, you get an option. Uh, it's, if it's not incorporated, uh, uh, there are other categories as well. Uh, I, I'm sure you would know if you're already incorporated in what section are uh, you're listed. Uh, secondly, how far along is your startup? So uh, there are multiple options here. I'll quickly go through them. If it's a concept, if it's at a concept stage, you can click that. If you are already developing a product, but the prototype is not ready, uh, you can click pro uh, product and development. Uh, again, we have options such as prototype ready. So if you have a prototype ready and you move, want to move on to the next page or the next stage in your startup, uh, you can choose your option accordingly. If the, the product is fully ready, it's ready to go to the market and you're looking to expand in uh, different avenues or you want to expand your uh, business possibilities, that's the option that you choose. If the product is ready to go in the market, that's the option that you choose. And then uh, if you already uh, have the product in the market and you're generating traction, uh, these are some of the revenue options that you can choose from. Uh, TDM, by the way, is uh, total 12-month revenue. So uh, that's the yearly revenue that you can choose if your product is already in the market and making revenue. Uh, we'll just, uh, for the sake of this, we'll select uh, full product ready, right? Uh, this automatically chooses your city. You can choose another option from the drop-down menu. You can write the name of your city here uh, and you can continue. So we'll go next here and uh, you can type in your email address this is firstly the registration uh, process so we'll type in uh, uh, something here you can choose your password also so just choose our password make sure that you're not a robot and you sign up this was a quick process of how you sign up. Once you sign up, uh, you will get an email once this is uh, uh, this process is complete from your side. These are some of our terms and conditions. You can accept them as you accept any other terms and conditions. And we move on to our form. Now, this is what you'll be gauged on. The information that you provide here needs to be potent. It needs to be accurate uh, to the best of your knowledge. Uh, if any of your forms are incomplete before the 20th of November, unfortunately, we will not be able to induct you or review your form. So ensure that you meet the deadline. All the sections are filled. Uh, the best part about this portal is that you can log back in uh, at a convenient time. You can review your submission. Uh, you can review your answers and when you're happy and content with the information that you've provided uh, you can move ahead with this now some of the questions might be slightly repetitive for you but uh, it's better if you provide us with all the information so where are you based very simply uh, just type uh, the name of the city uh, that you're based out of your full name will come here your email address from which you've just registered and your mobile number. So if you have a LinkedIn profile and if you share, if you share that with us, that will give us a better idea of who you are uh, as a co-founder or as an organization. Uh, so this will be an added point for you. Now, if you notice here, uh, you can see that there's an option for uh, finish later, right? This is the part that I was talking about that you can always have this option with you. Uh, you can uh, finish this form later also. Right now, we'll just move on to the next page uh, where we have a bit of the details, a bit of details about what the, uh, the idea or the concept is that you're working on. So the, all the questions that are on this page are going to primarily focus on uh, the kind of idea that you have and a bit about your business also, right? So uh, firstly, what category does your startup fall into? 
multiple categories uh, if you if you don't have a category or if your business or the startup does not fall into a category which is mentioned here uh, you can simply choose other uh, we'll go with agriculture for now what is the problem that you're trying to solve and how big is the problem share details about the problem including the size and the scale so what we want to know here is that so one of the basic things that we ask any startup that comes to NIC or any startup that comes to meet us for mentorship is what is the key problem that you're trying to identify, right? And uh, what are the problems, the issues? Uh, how big is the issue? Is it really significant? Is there a need for that issue to solve? So what we need in this section is a brief introduction of what the what is the specific problem that you're trying to solve. So for example, if you chose an agriculture over here, uh, uh, you can choose a problem, uh, for example, water shortage, right? So you write or you explain how there is a water shortage problem for, let's say, crops in Pakistan, the rivers are drying up, uh, the, uh, due to climate change, the rain cycles are not very predictable. And on top of that, what you can do is then you write uh, or you share some details about the scale or the size of the problem, right? So you tell us how uh, uh, how, uh, what is the magnitude of the problem? How many crops are if, uh, affected from this particular water shortage right now? And how, uh, and uh, what kind of problems can Pakistan, being an agricultural country, uh, face in the future? Uh, what uh, can make our lives easy uh, is that if you write it in bullet points, so for example, you write problem A, B, C, you have identified the Problem. Even better would be if you can just give a heading and say in caps uh, problem. And then you can type pointers. So that will make it very easy for us to read and understand your problem. And then you can uh, share links. If there are any, any, uh, any relevant research, you can share the links of that research to uh, highlight the size and the scale of that particular problem. How will you solve this problem? That's where you have to share your idea, right? And sorry, before we move uh, further, all these uh, questions which are within aesthetic, these are the questions that are compulsory, that are necessary for you to fill. Uh, your form will not uh, be completed and you will not be able to submit your form uh until you've uh, fill, answered all these questions and uh, filled in all these fields now one another thing that i want everybody to be mindful of is that uh we have a lot of applications so the more crisp and precise your answers are uh, it will be very easy for us to identify and understand your problem and to shortlist you uh, so moving on how will you uh, how will you solve the problem explain what is the solution that addresses the problem. Now, this is where your big idea comes in, right? The crazy idea that we all, uh, we all have been talking about. So uh, put your heart and soul into it to explain how, what uh, uh, in alignment with the uh, issue that you've highlighted, how that particular idea is going to solve that problem, whether it's a product, whether it's uh, a, a service that you're providing, whatever it is, it has to be uh, related to the problem, and then it has to explain how uh, it is going to solve this problem. So we're just going to fill this up. We're going to move ahead. And what is the unique selling proposition? What is your unique selling point? What makes you, you any different or unique than the rest? Why should your customers choose you? Now, this is something which is very important, right? So uh, every problem that exists in the world or most of the problems that exist in the world right now unless your idea is extremely unique there might be somebody who might be providing a solution for that right so what we need to hear from you and what we need to understand is that if there are already players that are existing in the market how are you different from them what makes you stand out right so write that down again bullet points uh, if there are multiple aspects to your answer write it in bullet points, make it crisp and precise so we get your idea and we get your point uh, in a short paragraph or number of points, right? So we're gonna move on. Uh, as you can see now, this portion does not have an aesthetic with it, right? So this is an optional portion, but it will uh, help us understand your uh, startup and your idea better, right? So please provide link or links to the existing product service or any prototype demo if applicable, right? So if you have something, and again, 
what we want to uh, it, uh, uh, make sure that you follow the step that you need to follow here is that it has to be something that you've already made, right? So, uh, or if there are any reports, any web links uh, that, or any demos that you have of your idea, uh, you can share them over here. That will help us understand this problem better. Uh, if you have a prototype, if you don't have a, uh, if you have a prototype, you can share uh, some of that with us. Uh, any video uh, that will be uh, really helpful for us. Uh, so the next uh, section over here is please attach an eight to ten uh, uh, slide pitch deck. Please keep the information on each slide. Please. PowerPoint maximum thirty MB. Right. So uh, these are some of the uh, info, this is some of the information that we require. I'm going to just highlight it here so it's easy for you to read. Uh, the slides here should be addressing these nine problems, right? Or should focus on these nine points. Uh, you can easily upload a file here. Uh, you can click on, click on the uh, upload uh, button that was there. You can either choose a file, you can drag or drop a file here. We're quickly going to just uh, pick up a file from here, uh, drag it, and drop it, right? So the file is uploaded. Once it's, the upload is complete, you can see the name of the file that you've uploaded over here, and you can move on to the next step. Next page is about you and your team. So we wanna know who you are because startup is, uh, as much as the idea uh, is important, the startup and the team is also very important for the success of that particular idea. So you need to let us know how many people are in your team. If you're a founder, uh, you can just write that, uh, uh, you can just write number one, or you can write that you're a founder, how how many members are in your team. Uh, it's preferred uh, that if you're uh, uh, just one team member, you can just write, I'm founder, and uh, that will do. What is the experience and background of your team? List the names, designations, and a few words about each team member, including the co-founder. In case you don't have any team members, please write, not applicable, right? So uh, it'll be good if you can, uh, and if you have multiple team members, you can uh, write their, their name in the heading. And uh, so for example, we can say person ABC or ABS, their designation, and a bit about them, right? You can number that with number one, the designation. If they have a LinkedIn profile, it will be really great for us to have that also. And then you can move on with number two and the rest of the details. So that will make it easy for us to sort also, and uh, we can have all the details. Moving on, uh, we would like to understand uh, the, uh, the market that you're trying to capture and where you stand in terms of your idea when it comes to the market that you're trying to capture, right? So uh, have you validated your market is the first question. Uh, what, uh, have you conducted any form of research or surveys? Have you studied the market? So it's a very simple yes and no question. Uh, we can go with a yes. What is the size of the market that you're addressing, right? So uh, let's just say that uh, we're targeting, since we chose agriculture, uh, what is the size of the market? You can talk about or you can cite references as to the, uh, in terms of the market that you've identified, is it a small scale farmer uh, that you're trying to uh, capture or the market of the large scale farmers, the industries? So whatever you're doing, uh, you can write down uh, the numbers and the details and then also cite sources where you get got the information from. So a link or two would be great for us uh, to uh, review that information to see uh, where you stand in terms of your market and what is the kind of uh, magnet, what is the magnitude of uh, uh, your startup and your business once you, inshallah, uh, uh, grow uh, as a startup. Uh, the next question is what is the go to market strategy for your product or service? How will you acquire customers? Now, this is a very important uh, question uh, that where we would like you to share information about how, what is your plan in terms of going to the market or launching your product? 
what are the strategies in terms of sales, in terms of numbers, uh, and how are you going to acquire and retain your customers? At the end of the day, every startup needs traction. And that is what we want to understand. We want to know uh, where your customers are, who are they, uh, how are you going to retain them, what kind of business are you going to drive, and how, what are the advertising or marketing strategies that you're going to apply to achieve this number, right? What are the costs associated with that? So if we talk about uh, uh, the agriculture as agricultural aspect of it, if you're targeting uh, 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 urban areas, for example, what are uh, some of the costs that are associated in terms of or that you uh, perceive in terms of digital marketing, if that applies? Uh, if it's rural marketing, what are some of the steps that you're going to take to reach out to your customers who are at the end of the day going to sustain your business in uh, when we talk about uh, rupees and dollars, right? So this is going to be uh, a section where you tell us about your go-to-market strategy. We're going to quickly fill this up. Who are your competitors? Now, this is a question where we want to understand uh, uh, your position in the market, right? So, uh, for example, if we take a, uh, an example of a food delivery service, right? So, uh, you might want to come up with a unique idea of a food delivery service, uh, which might be different from the market. But then, who are your competitors? Who are uh, the people who are ex already existing in the market? And how are you going to position your brand so you stand out or you stand different from them? Now, you don't specifically have to name them, but it will be good for us if you can name them as well. So, uh, for example, uh, if we talk about food delivery service, uh, we can you know, talk about other food delivery services, and then you can write your... And then you can write the name of, let's say, uh, you know, company A, company B, and company C, right? So this will help us understand where you stand in the market and where your idea can take off. And then we can obviously evaluate on uh, evaluate you on those basis. Moving on, we want to know about the business model. Like I mentioned earlier as well, that uh, it's at the end of the day, it's the numbers and the dollars and the rupees. Uh, that keep your business afloat and help that grow, right? And all the investors that are going to come, uh, you know, eventually when you pitch to them, that's what they'd be interested in, in terms of the business model and how you differentiate. So have you validated your customer? Have you tested, sold your product or service to a customer, right? So it's a very simple yes and no. Uh, if you already have a product, uh, if it's already in the market, uh, or if you've tested it uh, in some way or uh, some shape or form, uh, you can click yes. If not, that's not a problem. You can always click no, and we can proceed. How do you, uh, how do you, who do you sell to, right? So who do you sell to businesses, customers? So B2C is business to customer, B2B is business to business, B2G is business to government. Uh, other than that, if there's any other segment that you're targeting, you can choose other as well. Moving on, what is your revenue model? How would you make money through uh, through those resources and through what resources, right? So they're very simple revenue models. Uh, you just need to identify uh, what is your revenue stream going to be? How How is your business going to make money? Is it through selling products? Is it, uh, If it's a service, is it subscription-based? Is it referral-based? Uh, are you going to generate revenue through ads only? Whatever it is, Write that down in pointers and the details of how you plan to achieve that. Brief details, one or two sentences, will help us understand uh, how you plan to go about it. We're going to move on uh, in terms of traction. So traction is uh, the revenue that you've generated. Uh, over uh, a specified period of time, right? So is your startup registered as a, there are a number of options. Uh, if you're not registered, you can choose not registered. The other three options, if you're already registered, you would know if there's a third or uh, if there's another option uh, or if your business is registered in another domain, you can choose that if that option is not available in the drop-down menu, right? Uh, how far along are you in your startup? 
So uh, this is a very simple question. You would know yourself if it's at a concept stage, product in development, prototype. You can choose one of these options and move forward. What is the traction of your startup to date? So this is what is the kind of revenue. So I mentioned that some of these questions might be repetitive. You might have answered that in the previous pages as well. But just to help us understand what is the traction of your startup to date, this is again an optional question. But uh, if you already have a traction, you can write that down. If it's not applicable, you can just write not applicable and move on. This is the final segment. Uh, this is the final page uh, where you need to fill in general, uh, fill in general information about uh, your startup. Have you been a part of another incubator or an accelerator before? If yes, we provide details of an incubator. So if you've already been incubated before, uh, just write the name or the details of uh, that incubator. If not, if you haven't been incubated before, just clearly type not applicable and move on. This is an optional question anyway. So uh, you can move on. Uh, if you've been a part of an accelerator or anything like that, you can mention that over here. What are your expectations from the national incubation center? So every business or every startup, uh, every startup that comes to us uh, would obviously come with an agenda or a goal set in mind that these are the things where the NIC can help me grow or where the NIC can help me improve or the NIC can take me further in, right? So you can choose multiple options from here. If you are looking for networking opportunities to discuss your business or startup, you can click here, business acumen capacity building through curriculum. If you want to know and understand how to take your business, how to take your business forward, how to grow, you can choose this. Uh, if you're just looking for co-working space along with, uh, with all this plethora of services that you can get, uh, you can just choose co-working space, industrial linkages. If you're looking for mentorships, uh, that's something that you can choose. And then, of course, the funding opportunities as well. So uh, as NIC, we do have uh, opportunities for you uh, to get introduced to investors, to pitch to investors and get investment opportunities. The regular events, once you inshallah get incubated at the NIC, uh, or if you're following our social media pages, you would know a lot about it. Uh, so these are the options. You can choose multiple options here. If selected, can all founders attend the entirety of the program? If not, which of the founder will attend? So this is a very simple question where you let us know uh, if you're multiple uh, founders and some of them are not in the same city, uh, one of them can attend. But again, this is a virtual, uh, you know, you can attend these seminars and the training sessions virtually as well. So you can choose accordingly and write your answer. If selected, would you be able to join the incubation program by 31st of December? Uh, this is a very simple yes or no question. You can read the details. And we'll just wait for the page. To, oh, yes. And we have to fill this up. And the application process is complete. So uh, like you notice just here, uh, when I didn't fill out the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the section with uh, the aesthetic, uh, the submit application button uh, uh, was not uh, clickable. So uh, all the uh, the only option that you get is finish later. So if you're getting that, maybe you've missed out on something. You can go back and review. Uh, even when you submit, uh, you'll get a, uh, a notification and it'll take you to that page uh, unless you've clicked on finish later. So finally, you submit your application. You get all the details on when you submitted your application. You'll also get an email. Uh, on uh, your registered email ID, and you can then proceed further. So uh, this was it from my side. Uh, I'll hand it over to Numair for the Q&A session. Um, Numair, I'm sorry if I could just jump in here. Um, I've seen this repeated question during the session, the whole, uh, open house um, about grants. Um, so the NIC itself does not offer any grants um, and any funding per se. Um, we do not also charge any equity for that matter. 
But the idea is that we will connect you to uh, investors within our network and also investors that are not currently in our network. But if they show interest in your area, in your field, in your industry, we will definitely try to connect them to you. Um, as for grants, we get a lot of opportunities through our partners, um, whether they're in the USAID, in DFID, um, Germany, you, you know, so, so all of these organizations that are offering grants, so we're in touch with them. So any grant that does come up, um, we not only do inform our uh, startups, but we also help them with the grant application as well as the proposal they're trying to submit. Um, Zishan is a is, is a mentor in residence for that. So we do help you with that. Um, guys, if there are any other questions, um, I'm sorry, I know we've gotten over time, but if there are any other questions, I've tried to answer most of them online as, as we progressed. But if there are any left, um, you can unmute yourself and ask the question, just sort of speed things up perhaps. Or raise your hand, and maybe we can we can get to you. Okay, so so Vasim, I think we'll go with you first. Ji Vasim. Hello. Ji Vasim. Uh, it's me, Vasim Kamran. How is it possible to initiate uh, for uh, the person uh, have no knowledge about uh, these things? Uh, for example, I want to start up as a mentor. Uh, is it possible to part of uh, this incubation, I mean, uh, NIC program? Uh, could you explain that, please? I'm sorry, I don't think I fully understand your question. Is it that you just, you're just looking for a mentorship or are you looking at mentoring startup? Yeah, a mentoring startup. Okay, so um, to 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 apply as a mentor, um, please write to us. Uh, the email address has been shared with you, um, yeah. and it would be great if you can share your profile with us also. Um, and our team will get in touch with you. Uh, we have a mentorship form uh, through which mentors actually apply and come on board. Um, and then you know it's 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 need based. So whenever um, you know, your, your services are required, our team will get in touch with you and we will assign a startup to you for mentorship. One, uh, do you have any uh, other question? Please. Yeah, one more question, please. Um, is there any educational background? Is it this any requisite education? Yes, yes. our mentors are all domain experts. So, um, you know, uh, with a lot of experience, with a lot of expertise, um, but I would suggest that's that's primarily the information that the form requires you to fill. Um, there's a certain sort of um, you know standard protocol that we follow for our mentors. So if 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 you write to us, we'll be able to get in touch with you and share that form with you, and we can take the conversation forward from there. Oh, is there any age? No, there is no age. No, no. no orbit of age. Thank you. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you very much, Vaseen Saab. Um, I see Abdullah has raised his hand. Um, uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, well, Fine. my uh, 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 question is, I am uh, running a, a startup uh, that, that is basically uh, uh, um, non-profit we are working with people having you know speech this uh, orders and with the uh, mental health so um, can we um, uh, apply here because like i get the vibe that uh, thus uh, uh, like the, uh, the the mentorship and all the things that doing uh, to make them you know more um, stable and uh, uh, um uh, profit able so uh, is this social enter oh, yes. we um we encourage social enterprises to join us as well we're not any of those incubators that are focusing on a particular industry so for instance mm -hmm. i know that um you know there's a social innovation lab that's just focusing on social enterprise startups or the okay. plan nine plan x for instance are just focusing on tech startups we welcome any uh, startups that belongs to any industry, any vertical. Um, your idea has to be solid. We're encouraging growth stage, MVP stage startups this time. 
So um, the, the, in our previous code, for instance, we had a digital uh, words library. Um, the co-founder was working on developing a library for visually impaired people. So we've had mm -hmm. those. Um, you know, we bought smart electronic wheelchair uh, as a startup. Um, so so we, we've had one or two almost in every cohort now. Um, okay. So you can, you, you, we definitely encourage you to apply. Yeah. Okay. Um, and... Taha, I, uh, uh, Taha has raised hand. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam ji. Uh, the thing is that I uh, have three things. Three, my question was threefold. One was that my startup is already in the product phase mein hai, and we generated some revenues. So in our market, ki बहुत कम है लेकिन पाकिस्तान के हिसाब से इट्स इट्स अ डीसेंट रेवेन्यू लाइक 4.2 मिलियन वी हैव अब तक हमने जो है अपना ट्रैक्शन क्रिएट किया इंटरनेशनली और लोकली तो मेरा स्टार्टअप है वो प्रिंट मीडिया से रिलेटेड है व्हाट वी आर डूइंग वी आर प्रिंटिंग सम स्टफ फॉर इंटरनेशनल मार्केट एज वेल एज पाकिस्तान तो हम हमारे पास क्या होता है कि हम यूएई यूएसए इधर से हमें ऑर्डर्स आते हैं ऑनलाइन और पूरा सिस्टम इसके पीछे डेवलप हुआ हुआ है और फिर हम उसको यहां पे डेवलप करके प्रोडक्ट को प्रोटोटाइप करके उनकी पैकेजिंग को बना के यहां से बाहर इंटरनेशनली शिप कर रहे हैं ऑलरेडी वी हैव स्टार्टेड जब कोविड-19 आया तो आई वाज डूइंग दिस इन यूएई एक वेबसाइट थी उससे मैं खाली लीड जनरेट करता था और काम करता था देन आई केम बैक टू पाकिस्तान ड्यू टू कोविड एंड इन दैट फेज आई डोंट आई डोंट वांट इट टू स्टे एट होम एंड जस्ट टू लाइक हाउसेस कोर्स तो मैंने एक छोटी सी कंपनी डेवलप की चार पांच बंदों की और वी स्टार्टेड ऑन दिस आइडिया एंड टिल नाउ इन फोर्टीन मंथ्स अब हम यहां पे हैं कि वी हैव जनरेटेड दिस काइंड ऑफ सेल्स अब जो मेरा क्वेश्चन था वो टू फोल्ड इस तरह था कि एक तो मेरी कैटेगरी तीन बन जाती है इसके साथ मैंने एक पोर्टल और डिज़ाइन करके अटैच किया है जो फ्री लॉन्चिंग पोर्टल है जहाँ पे खातन और मर्द हजरात जो हैं वो एज अ डिज़ाइनर अपने आप को रजिस्टर करा सकते हैं सो वी आर गोइंग टू इंटू फ्री लांस इंडस्ट्री एज वेल तीसरा है कि मेरा मेन ऑब्जेक्टिव जो था वो था ब्रिंगिंग जो आपका स्किलफुल स्टाफ है पाकिस्तान का उसको चांस देना कि वो इंटरनेशनली कम्पीट करे जो हम कर भी रहे हैं अलहमदिल्ला मगर दूसरा था कि कई देर आर पीपल हु वॉन्ट टू डू दे हैव लैपटॉप तो एक फ्री लांसिंग सेक्टर भी हम टच कर रहे हैं तीसरा हम एड टेक भी टच कर रहे हैं वट वी आर डूइंग इफ इवन यू हैव नो knowledge of designing or something like that developing aap yahan pe apne aap ko register kara ke learn bhi kar sakte hain so what i wanted ke main ye janna cha raha tha ki agar if we get a chance to incubate with you with your organization wo hame pakistan ke andar jo edtech institutes hain jo log those people who are trying to jaisa bhi last question hai jo questioner the wo bhi ye janna cha raha tha ki agar if they want to इंक्यूबेट अगर उनको करना हो तो जो है ना वो कैसे अपने आप को प्रमोट करेंगे तो कैन यू गेट अस इनटू द कंपनी इनटू द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ यू पीपल लाइक जो के इस फील्ड में काम कर रहे हो एंड टेक में आई लांस योर सेकंड क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट यस वी हैव गॉटन एट टेक स्टार्टअप्स पिछले वालों का जी एट टेक के साथ रिलेटेड क्वेश्चन नहीं था बट आपका एट टेक का वो है वो सोशल एंटरप्राइज पे कर रहे थे एट टेक के लिए भी हमारे पास हर कोहोर्ट में वी गेट अ लॉट ऑफ एप्लीकेशन स्पेशली जब ये कोरोना जब स्टार्ट हुआ उसमें वी सो सर्ज इन एड टेक एंड हेल्थ टेक एप्लीकेशन सो वी ऑल्सो एक्टिवली स्टार्टेड पार्टनरिंग अप विद ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट आर वर्किंग एट अडेप्टिंग न्यूअर वेज ऑफ एजुकेशन टेक्नोलॉजी लुकिंग अप फॉर मैंटोर्स एंड ऑल्सो एक्टिवली स्टार्टेड सीकिंग इन्वेस्टर्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन दिस स्पेस सो ऑल थ्री एरियाज आर कवर्ड राइट if your application is mm. is selected um vidhat to aapki pehla sawal sir revenue ka um revenue kitna hai is not important right now for us uh, you are earning revenue uh ek to revenue us product ka ho aapne do teen streams ki hain to jis stream ke liye aap apply kar rahe hain agar uske liye aap revenue earn kar rahe hain it definitely adds to it um because uska matlab hai ki aapki market validation ho gayi hai right uh so that helps of course but having said that for everyone else who's listening sometimes we understand that revenue nahi ho raha hota because you know if it's a hardware product or due to any unforeseen circumstances you're unable to monetize the situation um or you're offering you know um 
एक प्रीमियम सर्विस आप दे रहे हो एंड ट्राई टू मोनिटाइज थ्रू एड्स देर लॉट्स ऑफ एवेन्यूज तो ऑल ऑफ दैट इज टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन दैट्स वाई आई वन आंसर ड्यूरिंग योर एप्लीकेशन विल बी असेस्ड एज अ होल नॉट फॉर इट्स कॉम्पोनेंट्स एंड दो लिटल पीसेज जब वो कंबाइन होंगे तो वो एक बेहतर एप्लीकेशन बन जाएगी सो यस ऑफ कोर्स इफ यूर अर्निंग रेवेन्यू इट एड्स अ वंडरफुल पीस टू द फाइनल प्रोडक्ट राइट कितना है इज नॉट इम्पॉर्टेंट एट दिस स्टेज वेन यू ग्रेजुएटिंग देन इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज देन वी नीड टू शो सम प्रोग्रेस ऑन द रेवेन्यू यू वर मेकिंग वेन यू जॉइन अस एट द रेवेन्यू यू आर मेकिंग वेन यू हैव ग्रेजुएटेड um you said there were three questions i'm sorry i might have missed the third question if you could please repeat yeah, that you said that uh, the same thing ke agar hum ab hum at jo aapne kaha hai ke jo revenue stream ek area se aa raha hai what we wanted to do what i wanted to do uh, with my co-founder hum ye cha rahe the ke jo revenue even ke aa raha hai wo uh, we want to move it to the better for betterment of pakistani people jis tarah maine aapko kaha ke hum we try to make people more skillful hum unko skills bhi sikhana cha rahe hain प्लस वॉट वी वॉन्ट टू डू के हम चाह रहे हैं कि वो लोग अर्न भी करें और उनसे हम कमीशन भी कोई चार्ज नहीं करना चाह रहे तो ये ये तीन एरियाज आ जाते हैं ना द क्वेश्चन वॉज कि कंपटीशन जो है हम उसको कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे आप लोगों के इस फॉर्म के आई नो के वो सारी मेंटरशिप में आगे जाके सारी चीजें तो कंक्लूड होगी क्योंकि मैंने तो सिर्फ अभी एप्लीकेशन का मेरा फेज है वन बैटल एट अ टाइम तो मुझे खाली एज में जाना था इस तरह का कंपटीशन यू नो यू नो ऑफ एनी अदर स्टार्टअप और कंपनी दैट्स डूइंग अ सिमिलर थिंग वेयर दे आर ट्राइंग टू वर्क टुवर्ड्स अम सो योर योर बेसिक कंपटीशन वुड बी दोस पीपल ऑल थ्री एरियाज में कोई एक स्टार्टअप नहीं है जो तीनों एरियाज को कंपीट देन यू से दैट यू डू नॉट हैव एनी कंपटीशन एंड देन आवर एक्सपर्ट जजेस ड्यूरिंग द इंटरव्यू प्रोसेस कैन क्वेश्चन यू अबाउट दैट बिकॉज़ हो सकता है कि आपने मिस कर दिया हो अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम्स एंड दिस इज जस्ट आई एम नॉट क्वेश्चनिंग योर नॉलेज आई एम जस्ट शेयरिंग एक्सपीरियंस विद यू A lot of times, the startups feel like there is no competition per se, um, except. काफी दफा हमने देखा है कि काफी आइडियाज कहीं ना कहीं दुनिया भर में कहीं ना कहीं हो रहे हैं. So we're not just asking you about competition in Pakistan, because the idea is also to take you global. So maybe there is some competition somewhere globally, right? So anywhere in the world, if you feel that there is someone who's doing something similar, not exactly the same, but similar. uh you can write that down as your competition but if you feel there is no one else and this is the most unique innovative idea um and no one has done this before um then you can write that you do not have any competition thank you i'm sorry i will have to move on to the yeah, next sure. person um is a up uh, you raise your hand is a you can unmute um uh, uh actually my question has been answered in the q and a section so thank you so much Wonderful. it was a lovely session thank you thank you very much ji um i think that's it uh, we do not have any other uh, hands raised thank you guys thank you so much for joining us today um and okay so there is one more yes ali yeah. uh yeah hello ji ji ali uh okay uh i was asking uh, if a startup needs to be collaborated with government like uh, it's a service that can serve people in the cities nationwide so i just want to ask that uh, if we collaborate with the government how the revenue system works uh, will the government pay us for the services and uh, for products वो तो जी आपका जो बिजनेस मॉडल है उस पर डिपेंड करता है आई डोंट नो व्हाट योर आइडिया इज आई डो नॉट नो व्हाट प्रोडक्ट और सर्विस यू ट्राइंग टू वर्क ऑन बट अम दैट्स अप टू योर बिजनेस मॉडल हाउ यू डिफाइन इट ओके तो वैसे भाई पूछना ये चाह रहा था बस कि गवर्नमेंट अगर ये गवर्नमेंट के साथ कोऑर्डिनेट अप करते हैं अगर कोई भी जिस तरह का बिजनेस मॉडल है तो गवर्नमेंट इस मामले में हमारी गवर्नमेंट पाकिस्तान की वो इस मामले में किस हद तक हेल्प करती है कुछ उसमें वो पेड सर्विसेज भी ले रहे होते हैं ये तो डिपेंड्स अगेन जैसे कि मैंने आपको बताया अबाउट द सर्विस दैट्स बीइंग ऑफर्ड पीपल डू बिजनेस विद द गवर्नमेंट द गवर्नमेंट डज बिजनेस विद प्राइवेट सेक्टर एंड पेस देम फॉर इट आल्सो ठीक है इसके अलावा मैं पूछना ही चाह रहा था क्योंकि बेसिकली मैं जो है ना स्टार्टअप ग्रूमिंग चाहता हूं अपनी तो इस हवाले से इवेंट्स या प्रोग्राम्स हैं इस तरह के जहां पर अब अपने सोशल मीडिया पेजेस जी 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 वी रेगुलरली कंडक्ट कम्युनिटी वर्कशॉप सेशंस बूट कैंप्स सो प्लीज फॉलो आवर पेजेस एंड ग्रूमिंग पिचिंग मार्केटिंग एंड सब टॉपिक्स पे हो रहे होते हैं यू कैन जॉइन अस फॉर दोस दे आर ओपन टू द पब्लिक एंड फ्री ऑफ चार्ज ओके थैंक यू यू आर वेलकम 
that's it. I think we can wrap up the Q&A session now. Um, over to you, Namir. All right, thank you. Thank you so much uh, for everyone for joining in. And uh, what do you say, Zanara? Should we, should we call it a night? Uh, yes, uh, thank you so much everyone for joining in. Let's, I sent uh, everyone an invite to uh, join us as a panelist so we can take a group photo. You'll only be uh, able to turn your video on once you've uh, been accepted as a panelist. So please accept that invite and uh, let's take a happy group photo then. I'm sending you the invite again. Jin logon ko abhi bhi panelist mein nahi move kiya gaya. And if everybody who has joined the panelist uh, invite, can you please turn your video on? We'll wait for uh, uh, just a minute. Or if we have the video on Kelly, so we will take the group photo. Let's go for it, Zanaya. Uh, we are just waiting for Zishan. He's coming live in uh, one second. So, when Zishan comes, then we take a photo. Le le te. Sounds good. Zishan, do you want to get in the photo? Come on. Come on, come on. Okay, come on, come on. Everybody, uh, we have this tradition at the NAC. We do a double uh, thumbs up. So, if you guys can do that. Uh, and I take the photo. Whenever everybody is ready, uh, I wish I could mute the chat for a second. Okay, ready? Big smiles, everyone. Thank you so much, Numer. Uh, we are good to wrap up. All right, thank you, everyone, and good luck with your applications. Hope to see you soon at the NIC.